we spend a little time discussing the notion of health and fitness. Because every exercise regimen, every hospital wellness program, anyone that you encounter that wants to talk to you about fitness wants to link it to health. And they do so without ever defining what their terms are. But health and fitness are two separate things, and they are not the same, and sometimes one can bring harm to the other. So in the book, we actually define health. And the way we define health is the absence of disease. And then the second thing is an appropriate balance between a catabolic state and an anabolic state. Now, a catabolic state is any state where you are performing physical activity that results in breakdown of the body, or you're in a fasted state where you're not taking in nutrition. An anabolic state is any state where your body is at rest, where it can repair and recover, or any state where you are having a positive balance of nutritional intake. And so many of our health problems that are occurring in our modern society are because of an imbalance between the catabolic and anabolic state. We are Fred Flintstone bodies living in a George Jetson world. Too much time at rest, and we spend way too much time continually intaking nutrition. And I see this at my child's own soccer game. They go for 10 or 15 minutes, then it's break time. They run in, they gotta have snacks, because you don't want their blood sugar to get low. They have snacks and Gatorade, which is pure high fructose corn syrup and they go out and play again. You can't see anyone walking around without their big gulp or their bottle of water. We just never stop taking it in. Now, once someone gets very enthusiastic about an exercise program, the exact opposite can occur, particularly with steady state exercise, because the only way to really progress under that form of exercise is to do more and more and more of it in which state you are now spending way too much time on the catabolic side of the equation and you're out of balance in terms of recovery. Now fitness, we define fitness as a gentleman named Arthur Devaney um, who talks about the evolutionary aspects of exercise discusses fitness and he likes to use the term physiologic headroom. And what fitness is is physiologic headroom which is the difference between the most you can do and the least you can do. So fitness is the capability of having high output physical activity. Stated conversely, when the most you can do trends down and becomes equal to the least you can do, that's called death. So the more you can create physiologic headroom, essentially the more alive you are. The key is and this is where most people lose the connection because they connect health and fitness when they don't belong together, is it is possible to create physiologic headroom and undermine health. And that usually happens either by progressing your exercise and making it more intense in a way that increases the forces associated with that kind of workout. For instance, if you're doing an aerobics class, you go from the low impact to the high impact class. You're increasing your physiologic headroom, but you're also disproportionately increasing the forces that your hips, knees, and ankles, and lumbar spine are experiencing to the point where either you're going to have acute injury or the chronic accumulation of these forces are eventually going to cause you to have arthritic changes in those joints. Um, so it's important that as you find a form of exercise where you can increase your physiologic headroom, you do it in such a way that you protect yourself from excess force or excess amount of activity that can undermine your health. 